what is morphology in linguistics the term morphology refers to the study of the internal structure of words to be specific it is the scientific study of morphemes it also describes how morphemes are joined together to form words so what is meant by morphemes morphemes are the building blocks of morphology morphemes are considered to be the basic units of meaning in a particular language that means it is the smallest meaning bearing units of language to be precise the meaningful parts into which words can be divided are called morphemes for example the word books contain two morphemes book and s another example is the word disagree which has two morphemes dis and agree let us move on to the types and typology of morphemes before that we need to actually understand the difference between morphemes and word The principal difference between word and morpheme is that morpheme may or may not stand alone whereas a word is always free standing morphemes can be classified into free morphemes and bound morphemes lexical morphemes and grammatical morphemes roots and affixes inflectional morphemes and derivational morphemes free morphemes and bound morphemes free morphemes are those morphemes which can stand alone or which has an independent existence with a specific meaning example ball pen tree small cheap etc bound morphemes are those morphemes which cannot stand alone or which do not has an independent existence it should be joined to another morpheme for getting a specific meaning example ish nas ed an ri etc let us have a look to certain words which are the combinations of free and bound morphemes teach plus er teacher un plus happy unhappy toy plus s toys lexical morphemes and grammatical morphemes both lexical morphemes and grammatical morphemes are free morphemes lexical morphemes are those which carry meaning in a sentence they are important words in a sentence and they are usually stressed for example book loudly can't who turn off etc that means nouns verbs adjectives adverbs negatives question words etc are all lexical morphemes grammatical morphemes are also known as functional morphemes these are the morphemes which functions as the grammatical links in sentence they are purely grammatical words and are usually unstressed for example and own he she the have is etc that means articles prepositions conjunctions pronouns etc are all grammatical morphemes or functional morphemes root and affixes root is also known as base root is the part of the word form that remains when all affixes are removed it gives the word its main meaning affix is a word attached to a root or base in order to form a new word let us have a look to an example for clarification the word carelessness have two affixes they are less and ness attached to the root or base morpheme that is care root base and stem in morphology root or base is a morpheme which contain the principal meaning of the word stem is the morpheme to which affixes are being added for example take the word carelessness step 1 remove ness from careless carelessness minus ness equals careless careless is the stem to which the affix ness is attached care is the root or base 
step 2 remove less from careless careless minus less equals care care is the stem to which the affix less is attached care is the stem as well as the root in this situation this, this means the word carelessness have two stem care and careless care is the stem to which the affix less is being attached to form careless and careless is the stem to which the affix ness is being attached to form carelessness inflectional morphemes and derivational morphemes before learning about inflectional morphemes and derivational morphemes we need to actually learn or we need to be aware about what does inflection and derivation mean inflection is a change in the form of a word to express a grammatical function such as tense mood person number etc without changing its grammatical category for example girl is a noun uh, to that noun we add s and it will become girls which is also a noun derivation is a process in which new words are formed by the addition of derivational affixes to the root or base derivation will change the grammatical category of the word for example the word teach is actually a verb if we add er to it it will become teacher and that is a noun inflectional morphemes it is also known as inflectional affixes there are only eight inflectional morphemes in english they are all suffixes let us have a look to that eight inflectional morphemes in english the first one is the plural morpheme s for example book plus s books the books are on the table the second one is possessive morpheme that is apostrophe s example john plus apostrophe s john's these are john's books the third one portmanteau morpheme or present tense third person singular morpheme that is also s for example sing plus s sings john sings beautifully fourth one progressive morpheme that is ing for example walk plus ing walking john is walking the fifth one past tense morpheme that is ed for example cook plus ed cooked john have cooked the food the sixth one past participle morpheme that is en for example drive plus en driven john had driven the car yesterday the seventh one comparative morpheme that is er cheap plus er cheaper these books are cheaper than those the last one is superlative morpheme that is est for example tall plus est tallest john is the tallest guy in his institution derivational morphemes derivational morphemes are morphemes that are added to a base word changing its grammatical category all prefixes in english are derivational there are a lot of derivational morphemes or affixes but for our easy understanding we can divide it into two class changing affixes and class maintaining affixes class changing affixes leads to the change of the grammatical category of the word for example nice plus ly equals nicely here nice is an adjective and nicely is an adverb class maintaining affixes do not leads to the change of the grammatical category of the word for example in plus correct equals incorrect here correct and incorrect are adjectives